Hello everybody, so today I want to talk about this video here, uh, which is basically a tutorial to hack your PS Vita with a single click, basically. <laughs> so uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because um, I want to spread this method. Uh, I know it's pretty, you know, known already, but I mean, I just want to make an English version of it for people who are not uh, sure about what they're gonna do because they can't read Japanese, right? So, I mean, let's dive into it. So what you're gonna need is a Windows PC, a PS Vita on firmware 3.65 to 3.73, and a PS Vita charger. That's pretty much it. As for software requirement, all you're gonna need uh, is one of those two files. This one on Google Drive contains both the program you're gonna use and the drivers that uh, are needed to make it work if your PC doesn't have anything compatible already. Uh, mine did, so I didn't need that, but this file is generally better. Well, this file on GitHub only contains the software itself. I'm gonna download it and show you how it works. So here you go, you have your file here. This is pretty much everything you need. And when you open it, this is what it's gonna look like. So as long as you don't need the drivers, uh, this is pretty much everything you need to do. And here you can also change your language if you need that for some reason. Everything you're gonna do is click this button here anyway, so whatever. So back to your Vita, everything you're gonna need to do is connect it to your PC through your charger and open the file transfer app. Once you're here, what you're gonna wanna do is click on content copy and just wait for the Vita to connect to your PC. Once it's done, uh, you're basically done with your PS Vita for now. So you wanna go back to your PC and what you're gonna find is the program from before, but it's gonna show you here uh, the name of your PS Vita basically. Uh, so if it does that, it means that there's no problem and the Vita is ready to be hacked. So you wanna click on start. Uh, once it's done, it's not gonna take too much. You wanna go back to your PS Vita and then click PC to PS Vita and then application then PS Vita. From here, you're gonna wanna select the HN Core 2 app and click on copy, then okay. And here the PS Vita is gonna copy the HN Core app onto the memory. And once you've done that, everything you need to do is just go back to the home menu and you're gonna find the HN Core 2 app here. Just open it and click yes. It's gonna ask you if you still wanna open it because you can't really get any trophy in the HN Core 2 app, obviously. And here you go, this is it. Uh, you have your HN Core menu. Uh, from here, you can uh, click on the second option and install Henkaku. And Henkaku is pretty much done. <laughs> and then you can go back to the HN Core 2 app. Always click yes. And from here, you can also install Vita Shell. And from now on, you're pretty much done. That's pretty much everything you need to do to hack your Vita in 2020, and it's great. So I hope this helped. This method is just mind-blowing. It's so fast. It's probably the fastest method for hacking any console I've ever seen. It's just amazing. The video is just four minutes long, and wow, it's just mind-blowing. So I hope this helped you too, and yeah. See you guys in the next video if I ever upload any else. See ya.